This lovely piece of hardware in front of you is the Magnavox Odyssey 2. Not every video game console is as fortunate to have its own built-in keyboard. Take for instance, the Sega Dreamcast. They built this without a keyboard, probably because they didn't have room. I don't know where they would put it. There's no room there. What about under here? Caution. Shock hazard, do not open. Been opening this thing for years. Never been shocked. The Sega Dreamcast may not have its own built-in keyboard, but you can get a keyboard for the Sega Dreamcast, the SegaNet keyboard. Why would anybody review a keyboard? Why does anyone do anything? That's a stupid question. What's important is that it says SegaNet right on the front of it. And you know that you want to be typing on a keyboard that says Sega Net. Another amazing thing about the Sega Net keyboard is that it has all of the keys on it that you would find on a normal keyboard, including the space bar. If we look on the underside of the Sega Net keyboard, we'll find other signs of quality, including a sticker that says Sega with a model number SK1502. There's a serial number, and this has been test passed for. For what, they don't say, but we know it's good. Check this out, there's rubber feet on your Sega Net keyboard that keep it from sliding around, and they've given you these things that you can flip up, which raise the keyboard in the back just a bit for more comfortable typing. The Sega Net keyboard uses no batteries. It's powered by the Sega Dreamcast itself. Sega thinks of everything. Let's plug it in. Can you spot the difference? Probably not. This is the Sega Net keyboard and this is the Sega Dreamcast controller. Note they look the same. And you take this for the keyboard and plug it into the slot on the front of your Sega Dreamcast and now it should work. Let's watch that again, just so that you're clear on how this works. You insert the plug from the Sega Net keyboard into the front of your Dreamcast. That's amazing. A normal keyboard will not do that because this does not accept uh, other plugs. That's why they made it with a Sega Dreamcast plug. You're probably wondering, why the hell do I need a keyboard for my Sega Dreamcast? Well, that's an easy question to answer. The Typing of the Dead, one of the greatest games on the Sega Dreamcast, where you use your Sega Net keyboard to shoot zombies by typing. I'm not making that up, I've reviewed the game. That's one of my favorite games on the Dreamcast. To play the Typing of the Dead, you use your Sega Net keyboard in slot one. For the single player game, you then take your controller, put that into port, uh, port three here, which saves the game into your VMU memory card. That's how you play the Typing of the Dead. Also, back in the day, you could go online and use, use the Sega Net keyboard when you were surfing the net, but there's really no reason to do that anymore. You buy a keyboard to play Typing of the Dead. In fact, if you're going to get the Typing of the Dead, buy one with the keyboard. They actually don't cost that much together. If we look closely at the keys, you'll notice that each of the letters has been carefully printed onto the keys. And there's a little bump there so that your finger knows where the F key and the J key are for touch typing. And they're ever so slightly concave. So your fingers gently, comfortably rest into them when pushing the keys. The shift key has an arrow. There's a cap locks key. And an escape key. I bet you weren't even expecting that one. It is missing a break button. There is one small problem with the Sega Net keyboard. I just discovered this. Uh, it's this button here. It says end, but nowhere does it specify what that's the end of. Is it the end of time? Is it the end of this review? I'm concerned. I don't want to push that button, but I'm also curious.